Hi, I'm Realize Potential and welcome to my second video tutorial. What I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial is how to have more than one fluid domain in your Blender scene. It's commonly believed that you can only have one fluid domain in your scene at a time. It's useful to have more than one fluid domain. Sometimes you want to have objects with uh, different viscosities, one looking like honey and one looking like water or objects with different colors, one blue and one let's say that you want to have blue Kool-Aid and orange juice for example. Let's get started. Go on the front view by pressing numpad 1. Scale our cube up, press 5 on the numpad to go into orthographic mode. Let's go to the object properties. Select wire so that we can see what we're adding. Let's add a UV spear. And let's add a let's add a cone. just reposition it to make it a little interesting. In fact, let me uh, rotate that on the x-axis 180 degrees. I think that'll be a more interesting splash. Okay, let's change the colors. Let's make this a blue spear. blue. Let's make this a red cone. It's always a good idea to rename your objects. So just rename the we rename the the textures, the materials, but let's rename the actual objects. Call this fluid red. Press period to make it show the selected item. Period on your numpad. Control click to rename. Let's call this fluid blue. Called it fluid red and fluid blue instead of blue fluid and red fluid, so that uh, since it's done alphabetically, that they stick together, they kind of group together. Okay. Now let's call this blue domain. No domain blue. Duplicate it. It's called the duplicated. Oh, don't mean to move it. It's called the duplicated cube domain red. One is going to be the blue domain, and one is going to be the red fluid domain. Selecting the blue domain, let's make it a fluid domain. You can see I've, from the fluid data, I've actually worked on this a little bit before. Make sure that I know what I was talking about. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. Save it to our desktop. Let's create a new directory.
like to save all things, so I'm going to call it 001. This is fluid, fluid. Here it is. Select the blue domain, and we want that to output to its own directory instead of the default directory. Gonna go ahead and have this be a subdirectory of the directory that we already created. We can click new directory here to do that, or we can just type in the name and Blender will create the directory for us automatically. Blender's pretty smart. Okay, let's see. Call this blue fluid data. Blue fluid data. Creating directory for us. Go ahead and accept it. Now, now set to save the information in blue fluid data. We can keep the the, the default settings and go ahead and bake it. It takes a while to bake. It's important to remember while you're baking the fluids, make sure you have the correct item selected. For example, um, if you want your spear to be blue, make sure you have the the blue object selected as your fluid and your blue domain selected. If you have the red domain selected, it's going to be red. And definitely make sure you don't have everything selected. You don't want to have the blue you don't want to have your blue spear set as a fluid and your red cone set as a fluid because well it just mess everything up Do the same thing for the red domain and the uh, the red cone. Okay, let's set the red domain as a domain, as a fluid domain. appropriately going to rename this to red fluid data and accept it remember what I said you don't want both of them selected as a fluid object so this one is still set as a fluid object, so we're going to deselect that. We can change it to none if you like, or you could have just clicked that, whatever. As long as it's not set as a fluid object, it's fine. And you want to set this as, as a fluid fluid. Now if you try to bake it, it's going to tell you you can't. It's going to tell you you can only have one fluid object at a time. that's okay just go ahead and select the blue fluid domain 
remove the fluid project properties of that or you could have set it to none and that's fine too now select, select the red domain again and bake it and this time it bakes fine so the important thing to remember is that you can only have one fluid domain at a time while it's baking it will only complain while it's baking once again it takes a moment to bake I like that you can see the progress as it's working just scrolling on the timeline probably shouldn't have gone the whole 250 frames frames would have illustrated the point fine but sorry about that okay now we're all set now we just have to have both of the fluid domain objects showing at the same time we really don't need the fluids anymore so we can either we can delete them some people move them to another level another layer I am going to just make sure they are not visible and they don't render all we have showing are the domains gonna make this a domain again it's the blue domain fluid domain it's still taking the information from the temp drive so we don't want to do that we, we, we specify the location for the fluid domain information and there we go we have our spirit and our cone now it's still showing as x-rayed I should say wire so let's set it to textured and set this to textured now we said this one was going to be blue This one is going to be red. Now we have two fluid domains of completely different shapes in our Blender scene. If you want, add a subsurf to each. You can press Control One, or just add a subsurf modifier here. Division surface is the correct term. If you want to make it transparent or whatever other textures you want, if you want to add a reflection, whatever you like. But that's the basic concept. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me on my page. Please subscribe, like, and favorite this tutorial if you like it.